morning everyone it's Saturday November 11th 2017 and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord um, I have a couple of devotions for you but first I would like to say the Our Father so please join me Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, this one is called The Wisdom of Preparation. And um, the reading is from Proverbs 9, verse 2. And it says, she has prepared. Whether you are, a new, are new in your Christian faith or have been a believer for many years, you can be certain of one thing. You will face times of trial and difficulty. This is because you live in a sinful, fallen world. And the rain falls on the righteous and the unrighteous you could read about that in matthew 5 45. tough times are more than likely to arise thankfully once you become a child of god your loving heavenly father strengthens and prepares you to face the problems uh, that you will encounter yes the father helps you get ready but is there anything you can do to prepare for the challenges ahead, especially since you don't know what the future may hold? In fact, there is. You can effectively ready yourself for the trials to come by seeking the Lord when your life is problem free. When you become accustomed to seeking God during the good times, your first response to a problem will be to call on him for wisdom and guidance. Many people make the mistake of deciding on a course of action before praying to discover the mind of God. But disastrous choices can be easily avoided by going to our Heavenly Father first and asking him for guidance. We should never let anyone push us into moving forward until we've heard from the Lord. And we can be sure that when we call upon him, he will be faithful to answer and to give us wisdom. Therefore, take the best course of action and prepare yourself for the troubles ahead by seeking the Father in prayer and through his word today. And trust in faith that regardless of what challenges arise, he will faith help you overcome it and a prayer we can say is father lead me today prepare me for what's ahead through your word as I kneel before you in prayer I trust you to strengthen me and give me wisdom yeah um, yeah this is um, this is really necessary for facing things that pop up uh, well, you never know what's going to pop up. Never. Um, I, I can tell you a little story. We have a house uh, that we purchased for our retirement. Uh, because this home, we're going to have to sell it um, when my husband retires. Because it's too big and um, unaffordable for the location that we're in. So we got this house and um, the pipe breaks and that it freezes and breaks and water goes all over everything. And um, my neighbor went to check the house and found the water. That's how we knew. But it was sitting there for a couple of days. Um, so um, we, um, we got in there right away and our insurance came in and they had to take everything out of the house put it in a pod and they had to cut all the the sheetrock all the way like I don't know two feet up and they replaced all the floor and everything had to be replaced 
and um, I didn't get upset at all about that whole thing. I mean, I was pretty amazed at at how calm I was through the whole thing, not knowing what was going to happen to our investment. Uh, the insurance came in, and um, they did a magnificent job. They just took care of the whole thing. They they cut everything away that was damaged. They replaced it all, put everything back, had everything repainted, put all new floors down for us, all new baseboard. And um, we wound up with a brand new floor and everything. And uh, they, they were so accommodating our insurance. They very handsomely took care of us in, in our claim. And um, the house was like having a brand new house. And uh, while we were doing this, we had the opportunity to make some changes, um, like we had no dishwasher in the kitchen because it was small. So because everything was being reconstructed, we took the opportunity to uh, to uh, make a provision on the other side of the kitchen to have a cabinet built over the dishwasher and have the pipes run to the other side. So things that we weren't able to have before, um, we acquired through this horrible mistake that happened. Uh, and it was just amazing how it turned out. And um, I mean, I really, I just was taking it one day at a time to see where it was going to go. Because when you're spiritual and you're walking with the Lord, you know that everything happens for a reason. And whatever happens bad, a lot of times God will turn it around to something good. And uh, that's what happened with this calamity that we faced. This was a couple of years ago. So, uh, yeah, it just validates this whole devotion of what I just told you. So uh, when things are going okay in your life, that's the time to strengthen your relationship with the Lord. So that if something should befall you, that's a struggle you can you already have the path carved out between you and the father to get the guidance that you need to overcome that challenge and this one is called your father's gifts and the reading is from proverbs 10:22 and it says it is the blessing of the lord that makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it it says uh, today you can pray with confidence to the trustworthiness of your heavenly father. Why? Because Jesus said, quotes, What man is there among you who, when his son asks for a loaf, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, he will give him a snake. Will he? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give you, give what is good to those who ask him? Matthew 7, 9, 11. This is so powerful because I remember growing up um, upstairs in my building. We lived in a 21 family cold water flat growing up. There was no heat the only heat we had in that apartment was coming from the stove in the kitchen the stove had like a grill on the side where heat came out of it there was no radiators in that house or that there were radiators but they 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 didn't produce heat uh, we only had the heat from the stove that was it it's freezing during the winter we used to go to bed with multiple blankets and coats on top of us to keep warm but aside from that what he's saying here is I, I remember what uh, where I was going with this um, at Christmas time uh, the kid who lived on the top floor would get like I mean like presents stacked up to the ceiling 
okay and um, when Christmas time we just got maybe maybe two or three gifts that was it because that's all my parents could afford but my parents were not the type of parents to go be overkill with their kids they just weren't they they didn't have much but they had perspective they didn't they didn't go out and uh, they they made loans to put clothes on our back and, and for, for necessities but they didn't they didn't borrow money so that they could lavish us with gifts no. they didn't. people do that today they charge up their credit cards to the roof so that they could go overboard with their children who are mean to them and abuse them and are unruly I see this everywhere and that's what God means here so if you know godless people spend money out the wazoo giving it to their uh, godless children that's what he's saying here how much more if you're good will your father in heaven give you if you ask him it's a very profound statement pay attention to what Jesus is saying the stones around the Sea of Galilee were round the same color and shape of the daily bread but no parent would knowingly give stones to his or her children. Likewise, the snakes probably look like fish that could be caught there. However, they were not only poisonous, finless fish such as eels were prohibited by Levitical law. No good parent would allow his or her child to eat such a creature. With this in mind, how much more will your loving father give um, when you ask him to lead you in other words there are things in life that seem to be what you may want perhaps there is a certain person you want to marry or a job you wish the Lord would give you but God knows when what you desire is not what will satisfy you see a lot of times let's say we'll go back into our dating days you know uh, there was always one one boy that we liked that was a bad boy, you know. And then there was, we dated this good guy and we gravitated towards the bad guy because he was hard to catch. Okay. And um, he, he titillated our flesh, you know. He, he um, inspired us to yearn for him. And the good guy, you know, you you hear, you hear about this syndrome, right? Many people have it, you know, even men have They Girls have it, the guys have it. They gravitate towards the women that trap them with lust. And then maybe they're going out with some really nice, sweet woman. And it doesn't ring their bell, see? But what they're gravitating to eventually is going to trap them and destroy their lives. Uh, <clears throat> it says here, um, and you can rest assured that he will divert you from danger as long as you're listening to him. Therefore, seek him his confidently, knowing that he seek him confidently, knowing that he will never steer you wrong or fail to keep his promises to you. And a prayer we can say is, Father, thank you for giving me good gifts. Without sorrow, I trust you to lead me and provide what I need. Amen. How many parents bend over backwards for their kids, put themselves on the back burner, give everything to their kids, and then their kids just betray them? It's got to be one of the worst feelings in the world to give birth to a child, give up everything in your life for them, and put them it's because you put them before God that's why so if you put God first everything else falls in line this is why people get so hurt and betrayed it's because their allegiance is out of order so um, put God first prepare when the times are um, good and uh, when the times come that you're going to need some help you know where to turn okay
instead of jumping from the frying pan into the fire which many people do when they get into trouble and on that note I'll say have a beautiful day in the Lord people I love you Jesus loves you never forget how much he loves you he's coming very soon keep looking up God bless